Dearly, my name is Christopher and welcome back to Subnautica Experimental Koosh Base Biome Build Part 3. It's been a while, I know. And I also know that I don't normally start on the menu, but look at this! Isn't this amazing? They've changed the menu screen. It used to be like underwater and they'd have pre-filmed some stuff like stalkers going around in the kelp forest, the mushroom trees area and other places like that. But now they've updated it, it's much less laggy now because the other one, um, I asked one of the devs because <clears throat> the resolution on the background of the menu was really low and quite laggy sometimes. And that turns out that was because they recorded it, then imported it into 3D, then recorded it, then like rendered it to 30 FPS, then the front is 60, it messed it up. This is much more clean looking and I really like it. This was gonna be the VR. And it is still the VR. Um, so if you don't know what VR is, it's Oculus Rift. Um, this is this is the VR menu, so this will be what people in the Oculus Rift will see. So this will move around, which is really cool. And I really like this menu because look at the waves; they look so real, don't they? Oh, oh, good lord, no! Please. Okay, well I feel like we're safe. Yes, I think our build is fine, which I'm very glad about. I think nothing has changed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been left as it is. Okay, so, basically, what you will notice is that there are moon pools here. Now, unfortunately, um, you know, remember how my mic broke and stuff like that? I did actually try and record a video of the Koosh Biome build whilst having no mic. Well, I did have a mic, but it was a really, really, really crappy old one. Um, and I recorded it, hoped that it would work, and the audio was just so bad that I just didn't upload it because it was pathetic audio. And I really don't want to upload things that are awful quality for you guys because you deserve more than that. So I didn't upload it, but we did do making seam offs, which I will take you on a tour through as well now. Some of you recommended that we make lights on the farm, which I went ahead and did in the last episode that won't be uploaded, well, unfortunately. It's annoying, but that's just kind of what you have to expect occasionally. Not everything can also always go your way. Oh, hello. Is that another one? Okay, so they have changed a bit of the, um, bit of the landscape here. <laughs> right, okay. Also, one more thing that I need to do. I was thinking uh, I might start a new survival series. Season 3. So if you guys want that, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna try a new thing. I'm gonna start a poll, and it should come up in a little exclamation mark in the top right-hand corner, around now. If you're watching the video as soon as it comes out, which I know a lot of you love to do, come back a bit later because it will be up by then. Because it may not be on it straight away. So if it's not here right now, for you, then you're probably a bit early. So just come back, come back. That's all it takes, and it should be there. Easy as that. Okay. I'm gonna vote, I'm gonna put a poll, and it's gonna be like, uh, do you want another survival ser series season? I'll get the results, and eventually, I'll see whether you guys want one, whether it's a resounding yes or a resounding no. If it's a resounding yes, I'll do one. If not, I won't. Okay, so this is the first Seamoth that we created, and it is the Sea Biscuit, the good old Sea Biscuit. Very old. Uh, this is, I believe, let me see the upgrades. This is our exploration one, so it has sonar, pressure compensator, solar charger, and storage. So it can explore, get some s s fragments and stuff, put them in there, come back, use solar charge on the way. So that's a sea biscuit. These next two are brand new. We have the sea waffle, which is a new one uh, that I just thought of. Very kind of similar colour scheme. It's the yellow, green, blue, and the green. They seem kind of similar. Um, but that's, yeah, that's a sea waffle. This is, I believe, our defensive. Yes, the perimeter defense, hull reinforcement, sonar, and power efficiency. Because you'll need, you'll need power efficiency for using that defense um, a lot. So, 
Hence why that one is the defense one. The next one is the Toastmaster V1. Now, the reason why this is the V1 is because it is the attack one, and it may die quite a few times. And we don't want that, but it, it will probably happen. So this is the Toastmaster V1. Uh, this is our attack one, so we have two to Seamoth torpedo systems at the front, two slots, hull reinforcement and power efficiency for launching those torpedoes 24-7, y'all. So let's just test this. So we're going to have the scanner room coming off to this bit here because I feel like that's a pretty darn cool place to have it. So let's just see what that looks like. Okay, it didn't like that, did it? <laughs> because apparently what they've done now is made it so... Oh, they... Ah! Oh, we've got our reef back. Where is it? There it is. Good lord, you're doing a corkscrew, aren't you? Okay, right, let's go through here. Okay, there it is. Damn, that looks cool. Yeah, they definitely upgraded the visuals. That is really cool, because we're in a very strange landscape here, aren't we? So the wreck will be up there, on this kind of chunk up here. Um, this will be the vent right there. This big hole. So for the moment, I think it... I can't really tell when it's scanning. I think it's supposed to be scanning... Hang on, let's just check. Lithium. Is there lots of lithium around here? I don't know what these dots are here. Are they lithium? Ah! There's lithium there. Okay. Apparently, now when you go on the cameras... Oh! Connecting. Apparently it tells you where to... Oh! Oh, it does! Oh, that's amazing! Okay, so I think they said something about not being able to go further than 500 metres away. And does it take me to lithium? Oh my god, it does. Oh, good lord. Sorry about that. So now, if we... Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so now, if we go outside, can we see where our drone is? Does it does it show, does it tell us where our drone is or not? Oh, it actually has a mini light on it as well, so you can actually shine on what you're looking at. So there's a drone, and here's the lithium. That is really cool. And then you can collect the drone. I don't know which chairs I prefer. I mean, I'd never really have to ask myself this question because I'm not an interior designer, but I kind of... I kind of like those chairs, and then we'll have one chair at the head of the... Have it a slight, a slight tilt. There you go. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That actually looks like a proper meeting room for, for outer space people. On to what we were going to do this episode, can't get over how cool that room is, is we're going to make our Cyclops, which is going to be our... Uh, main kind of base of operations that we'll be able to move around in because why not so we're gonna need to build it up at the surface so I'm gonna have to make a long journey all the way up to the top there you go nice thumbnails don't know if I'll use them but you know they're there for if I do need them let's just leave that up there because if we do ever need to build another vehicle properly again I know we could have spawned it with sub cyclops and all that but I didn't want to because that's just boring welcome aboard captain that is all systems online that is terrifying oh my god that's new I don't like that that voice is terrifying <laughs> god I do not like that at all. Okay, it sounds like he's just having a constant voice crack kind of thing. It's weird, I don't think I like that. But you know, whatever. It, it sounds futuristic. They haven't added the steering animations yet. Okay. So is it still... yeah, still the same controls. Okay, let's go and name it. So we used to have the SSC crumb bit. So we're gonna have it as that. But if you can think of any... Oh, God, that, that could have come out very wrong. If you have a better name, please feel free. Uh, because I am all ears. So we normally have the base as red, the stripe as a lighter blue, and then that as white, I think. And then on the red, the thing is also white, I think. I mean, we can go in out and have a look, so that's easy. Easily done. Yes, that looks nice. The SSC crumpet. Back in business. Um, okay, let's think where we want to park. Oh, Jesus, what have I done? I think I may have just killed an entire colony of fish. Okay, let's go in. I didn't expect this to be a cave, so this is cool. 
well, if we get stuck, I'm actually going to cry. And we've got like literally a centimeter of clearance no right now, but it fits. I mean, if we had wing mirrors, I'd reverse in, but apparently we're too advanced for wing mirrors. Let's just go and get a seam off that we feel is ready for the journey. I think we're going to get our exploration one, being as that makes the most sense, because it has a pressure compensator so it can survive being down here. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, look, yeah, let's go in the Sea Biscuit. Sea Biscuit can dock in the Sea Crumpet, because that's just how it used to be, and that's how it should always be. So let's let's go aboard, ooh, ooh, slide through here. Nicely done. And pull up and round. Ooh, frame rate, come on. Here we go. Okay, and park inside. Open up Jarvis, I'm coming in. This is this whole video so far has been a gigantic sexual innuendo, and I realise that. Please do not quote me in the comments. So let's get some wall lockers going because wall lockers are bay, as anyone that plays the North will know. They are very cheap to make and also look kind of cool because uh, you can just place them on the wall and you can kind of place them right next to each other. I'm going to steal an idea here, so please don't kill me for it, but I'm going to steal an idea and I'm confessing to stealing this idea and it's from Markiplier. Uh, if any of you have watched this Nozka series, I recommend it because it's very, very good. Um, I'm going to, if anybody gives me any really good advice, I will write their names on these lockers. Obviously, I'll have a limit each episode, so this episode, there'll be a limit of five names that I can put. Be simply because it will just be horrible having to write, because all you guys are pretty much really helpful. But if I'll find five comments that I find particularly helpful, or interesting, or just ones that make me laugh, and I will put their usernames on the names of the lockers. Because that's fun. I think. Let's go. Ooh, frame rate. Come on, baby darling. I noticed it as well. Ah. Ooh, graphics. Did anybody watch WrestleMania? I did. WWE, if you don't know what I'm on about. Very good. Well, I mean, it was okay. But it, it, was, it was good. Won't spoil anything. Interesting. Okay. So let's customise the central bit a bit. Let's, let's have some things going on here. We'll have proper lockers. Because this in in my survival series whenever whenever I've done them and when if I've ever got to the point, will I say this actually? Th those are very strange quality. Um, I say this, but I don't think I've actually ever made a cyclops in co in survival. I don't think I have. It's very strange. Thought I had, but no, haven't. Let's put a fabricator here, if we can, which we can't. Okay. Let's get some fish going on in here. How many spaces do we have in our inventory? Twenty. Okay. Let's get some. Oculus, because they are my favourite fish. But apparently not, no. Okay, let's hide that, because even though it's a cool looking thing, it's kind of like just there. Yeah, that's fine, because if we if we need urgent medical attention, we can take that. Okay, so that comes back every half an hour, which will be very useful for survival. Okay. So next, let's have... Yeah, I was looking for the specimen analyzer, but it doesn't appear to be there. That doesn't matter. Okay, item. I I. Uh, four again. Oh, item. Why? They spelt it weird. Oh, they did. They spelt it wrong. Well, they didn't spell it wrong. It's just the way they 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 spelt it differently to how I would have. Because, although I guess it would be called I E A. I don't know though. I don't know. I'm not sure how they would spell it. 
are they actually assigned are they, are they assigned to a path I can't tell does that one flick up now let's have a chair right there and we'll have I know chairs don't normally go there but we'll, we'll have a chair a chair there why are we moving Why did we just move loads? I'm scared. Is it? I'm scared. <laughs> Woo! And one new. Woo! There. How pretty. Let's have a proper box. So we'll have a indoor grow bed somewhere. Don't ask where. We're just going to have one. Can we? Now the, the the thing is, can we jump over that? We can. They're like there's there's funny ones. Orange mushroom item. Orange mushroom. Oh my! I know what I've done. I've spawned an orange mushroom in the submarine. Can we? Yeah, we can get around them. That's fine. That's, it's it's perfectly fine. Can we move right now? I swear I just saw something move. Oh my god, that is a reaper. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, I knew I saw something moving. Oh god, that terrified me. Okay, I haven't seen a reaper in a while. I haven't actually seen a reaper in a while. That actually scared me. Okay, um... Okay. I wonder if it will sense our... I think it just went in the rock. It did. Oh my god, that actually looks terrifying. I swear they've updated it. Oh no, it was just a reflection. I thought they'd made it all veiny and everything. Oh my god, that terrified me then. I thought they'd made it into a really horrifying, veiny, grey kind of creature. Can you see what I mean? If you rewind that to just before it's loaded in. Anyway, that was it, guys. Sorry this is a weird video. I know it wasn't quite Koosh biome building, but it was a Cyclops build, which I haven't done in a long time, and I know you guys like the Cyclops, so I wanted to give it some attention. Welcome aboard. Okay. That scares me every time. Please stop, Jarvis. I leave it here, guys. So if you're liking this series of Subnautica in general and the Koosh Base Biome Build mini series, then please give it a like. If you're feeling really super duper duper generous, subscribe to Perma Crunchy today. But until next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Tara, my friends. Oh.